welcome and for today's tutorial we're going to be showing people what is going to be in the insert tab so today's we'll not be covering the details of what is inside the insert tab but as time goes on we're making videos on everything that is in the tab so now we have this plain thing we typed here random document right random text we're going to use it for analysis of what is really inside this insert tab so first of all we have what we call the cover page and the cover page if you go here you can change the cover page maybe let's click on austin okay to show you that our see now our, our cover page has changed making our page giving you this document you can put a document title here then draw your reader it's an engaging you can just type anything you need here so that's all about co uh, cover page here but as time goes on we're going to show you more so then we also have blank page which gives you a random document a, a brand page that is here that is blank without no external designs or whatever then we have the page break with differences and differentiates the, the the pages so we have this page one and this page two so this gap here is what's called the page grip the page break look at this here also so this is for separating the pages so that do not be together then another thing we're going to talk about now is also the what we have the table so for table we're going to add, click on here so it's not affected so we'll click table so we can we have rows and columns in the table, so we're going to need to. Okay, so this is how our table looks like. You can also have format design, and it, but we are not going to look into table right now. Well, a video is still coming up about table, so stay tuned to the channel to find out more about tables. So we also have what we call the pictures insert. So now we're going to now. Click on the pictures and import pictures. Click pictures. So now let's use a random. Okay, Microsoft. Let's use random YouTube. They say okay. You see now we have a picture and when we click the picture, we found out that another tab came out, which is the format tab, which we can see here. So that's about the picture tab. And we can get online pictures, but when I've contacted. I'm having issues with my online pictures. I've contacted their their support and they're going to get it through to me. So right now it's not working. But for you, any of you that have online pictures working, just click on it. You can either get it from Bing and um, Bing search or you can get it from also your OneDrive. So it depends on where you want to get your pictures from online. So we also have the shapes now. So we're going to use maybe a random shape. There's a two for shape. We have different shapes, but let's go with the square. So we can draw a square here and also the square automatically the same tab that opened in the picture which is the format tab also opened in the, in the shape to show you that you can also use design your shapes of your choice that's why format tab also shows so bear that in mind the customizing will still brief you guys through about how you can use all these things tools but now i see an introduction so we also have what we have called a smart art. Okay, what smart art? Smart art, all these things they can. Okay, let's click on this one list. Okay, show you a big tools of shapes. They started once at the stretch. Also, we also have the design tab that popped out. I also have the format. So we can also change colors. We can do lots of things. So it's just many shapes that were started once. So that's what know as smart art. So it really comes in handy when you know how to use it. So we also have the tool called the chat. Click on the chat for all these accountants working. This thing is gonna pay all these people calculating stuff, major stuff. It's good for big numbers, which actually helps you. So let's use the pie, which is commonly known. Okay, so starting. So we find out that if we insert the the chat that uh, my, an Excel sheet pops out to me, so where you can type your um, your anything you want, and it just actually gets a shape. But okay, let's type in a uh, let's type in something. It's okay, first quarter. Let's make it nine. Then make this one eight. Okay, look, I have you seen that the shapes are the sizes are increasing. So let's make this one fifteen. It automatically fits into the size. 
of your choice and get a random skill for it. We make this one 25. Okay, to see what we have. So that's about chat. And every time we click on it, this thing actually it shows up. So that's how the chat goes about. So another wonderful tool uh, Microsoft 2016 gave for us is what we have the screenshot of his clink screen clipping so if you click on it it gets your shots what you want you just select the area and it clips it for you it makes um clipping easier for those that really go with screen clipping and other interesting stuff so you just select the area you want and clip it so this store and my addings are together because in the store that is you can access my address. I want the address. Let's use this emoji one we have been working with. I've worked it usually. So and it still requires connection. So if your store isn't working, you will not be able to see it. And if you have an active connection, this still will not be any um, good for you. So we are going to use emoji for those files of freaky those freaks of emoji though like usually love it because you can't get this thing anywhere. Uh, just you get it as a picture, but with these addings, uh, that's why I love addings. Addings get some few pictures, and uh, you don't expect it to appear, but it gets it making your work easier for you. So we now have the emoji. We click on this happy. Oh yeah, he's happy. Whoa, it's a wow, bro. You really got this thing for me. <laughs> I feel he's happy. So <laughs> let's not mind it. So we have also a Wikipedia. We can find quotes. Just how uh, is it? And add in also so you can get it and then you quote anything you want so let's click it out so also have online video and this online video gets video from either an embedded code or from youtube so let's see whether this channel is on youtube so to make this channel you guys should subscribe so that this channel will be showing more frequently on new youtube okay so wow YouTube is realizing my channel is existing. Wow, I feel so loved. So, please, guys, share my video, share so that I'll get more on YouTube. So, we have let's insert maybe one of these ones that I've worked with. You can also click the video, it will be on the, it will be on the link in the description. So, to download it, leave this downloaded, start trying to download it, you just get to the file. So, if you click on it, it will play, and you also see that. Also got the format or you can do anything just like a picture shape it gets the format tab for you want to want so you can insert online video from YouTube or embed um, a, an online code so that's it about so another one we're going to go to now is what we have the hyperlink so for a hyperlink to work we first of all have to highlight the test one to have to link then now go to hyperlink so you can either link look at okay it now text display yeah you can link it to an address or a file so let's link it just to uh youtube channel okay youtube.com slash enlighten them so we're not actually going to look at it on the line it so if you control plus click it takes us to youtube.com slash enlighten them so you can use it maybe in your document to link to a bookmark or so or to, to a particular picture anything you want it links it to it so we also have what we have all bookmark so the bookmark is also good in taking you to a particular section so let's bookmark this enlighten them so we're going to now bookmark it as a name so we're going to now click ok add so anywhere i am in document if i just quickly go to this bookmark click them and go to it takes me straight to enlighten them which makes my work a little bit easier in case i have lots of doc and lots of text or stuff typed in it it makes work kind of easier for me so we have the cross reference can cross reference paragraphs numbers again so even in status hyperlink you can make it a, a hyperlink if you want so we also have the the tool called the comment you can comment you just say hello in case you're working say hello we just comment it and the particular place you wanted to comment so you just commented this go to go as a comment 
So we also have the header, the blank header, defense header. You type in maybe your name and like let's uh, make it hello. It's it, okay. You have to be typing it. You have press escape. So okay, look how the color looks like. It's not a normal one. Also, we also have what we have the footer. The footer does the same thing. Also, let's type hi. Then press escape. It also does the same thing, but it's just the location that matters. So you can number your pages, top page. You can number your pages if you want for easy or even bookmarks for just it just helps your work get done easier. You can also design it. Yes, yeah, so we'll have text box. Let's press the skip first. We have text box, simple text box. You have different you can, anywhere you can grab your you can type your text box anywhere, just like a ship on its phone. That's why it has format tab also. So good to know that. So our work's kind of messy, but we are just kind of doing a summary about everything what you're going to see when we start working in different sections of it. So we have the quick part, we have auto text where you can maybe text you want to insert fast, maybe a particular text you want it to insert fast. There's yeah, so some just click quick pass auto text. We have a unique feature called the word art. What art gives your text a good color and a good design. Let's type here, it gives you a good design. Okay, here is has different fonts, different font style, font name, all together. So word art is also good. Drop card is usually used for text or bloggers. We give the first thing a big name while others when you type in there, others get small. So drop art is so unique, it's good and fun if you get a hang out of it. So the next one you have signature line where you put your signature um allow signature maybe a signature can be a name or if you have the Adobe Adobe um, plugin or adding can get the job done. Maybe a two pen in case you're using tablet as a pen, so you can do it that way. We also have date and time, depends if you want it to sync the time. It and up to, if you want it to update, it will update automatically. So as you refresh it, so that's date and time. We also have the object, you can import objects from either. From Adobe, Acrobat, all these things are the formats of importing um, objects. So we have the equation. You can the control Z. We have the equation. The equation we can we can have area of circle. Different equations. You can also create an equation here. We are still going to work on that depending on your, your comments on whether we should work on it. So please start going to the comments. I also have symbols, different more symbols, or you can get plus minus use for most formulas. Okay, so thank you guys for watching my video. Please like, share, subscribe, and make sure you get us to 1,000 views. Thank 1,000 subscribers at the end of this year. Make it be a surprise unto me as a gift. We say yes. Thank you for your work. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on my social media links, which is going to be in the description. Thank you. Welcome.